G'day, this is Peter from the Property Club back with another episode of Coronavirus and Coffee. I've got my Borokai mug here, you can see that here. And I'm ready to talk about the last few days. Let me just put down my coffee. Need one sip. Mmm, it's good. So what's going on? Coronavirus. Coronavirus, mate, it's out of control. It is insane. Now the figures worldwide are more than 400,000 people infected, okay? Every single day, there's more and more people getting affected by this, infected with this coronavirus. It's just, it's, it's crazy. The big news is the United States, which, you know, just mind-boggling, um, the United States actually, it's rallied. So it's had the biggest rally in like history in like almost a hundred years. The stock exchange has just gone shooting up like a shooting star. Okay, so it's uh, it's good news for the states for America. So really good. I believe that's on the back of talk about uh, stimulus packages. Talking about stimulus packages. Wow, look at what's going on. The Australian share market rallied today as well. Today and yesterday. Um, wow, it's just incredible. Meanwhile, the figures in the United States for the coronavirus, they don't look good. They're not good. They're increasing. So, I don't know. I don't think this is the bottom yet. I was reading an article about the Australian market, uh, you know, Australian shares saying that, um, you know, we've had some resistance and we've had this little increase, but it could be a dead cat bounce. Who knows? Let's just wait and see what happens. But the figures aren't looking good. Even in Australia, there's like more than 2,000 people infected. In the United States, it's like 50,000. So the figures are huge, right? So I'm, I don't think we've seen the end of this yet. Now, in the Philippines, what's going on in the Philippines? Well, we're still on lockdown. Uh, they've really escalated things here in Subic Bay. Um, can't really say much about Manila, but I've heard from my cousin that actually he got a flight out and actually the shells had nothing, no food, no alcohol and there's an alcohol ban in Manila so he actually got out and he was lucky he got out uh, back to Australia and he's doing the 14 day quarantine so that's huge, um, I, I wasn't keen on doing the 14 day quarantine nor did I want to leave my partner behind so that's why I'm still here in, in beautiful Subic Bay so the sun is setting here, um, definitely sun setting here. It's been a long day, I had a huge day, okay? Um, I went to walk the dog, just like literally for like a kilometer, up the street and back. I just wanted to take the dog for a quick walk. He'd been a bit restless. Uh, this is the little um, Cisco, little um, black French bulldog uh, that I have. And um, I, I didn't get more than 200 meters. And then there was these guys and it was kind of like a ute and it said SWAT down the side and these guys dressed in black, all in black. They're like the uh, COVID-19 op op operation. I don't, I don't know what's going on. But they're looking after security and they stop me and they, you know, they're like, hey, get home, go now. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that. Um, so yeah, that happened. That happened uh, only about half an hour ago. I was like... My home's just there. I was just taking the dog for, you know, a little, little bit of a walk. There's no one here, but they weren't having any of it. So I was like, all right, I'm not going to argue with this. Get out of here. So I went out, took the dog home. Anyway, let's talk about these stimulus packages. Okay, Australia. <laughs> Australia, wow. Now, reports are saying, articles are coming in saying that unemployment's going to hit 15 to 20 percent okay the share market has rallied but you know with unemployment going to be at 15 and 20 percent it's definitely going to affect both the share market and the property market so the markets are going to get smashed i'm also concerned again about the currency that the currency you know if they print even more money could get smashed again so let's talk about what the government is doing their plan is this get this Okay, so in Australia, we have something called the dole. So if you're not aware, and probably Filipinos wouldn't be aware, but in Australia, we have social welfare. 
So what happens is if you don't have a job, you can you know, go to what's called Centrelink, and Centrelink will give you money every week, maybe you know 200 bucks a week, um, possibly $400 a fortnight, depending on your situation. So they'll give you that tax-free. Now, okay, apparently the other day there was 2 million people lining up around the country for Centrelink due to unemployment. Now, there are a lot of people that are genuinely unemployed and have lost their jobs because you know obviously um you know hotel industry tourism in industry hospitality a lot of industries have been affected and a lot a lot of people have lost their jobs for those people they're genuinely lining up because they have to but i think honestly there must be some people that are saying hey i'm gonna quit my job or tell my employer just to fire me so i can get this new stimulus package get this the Australian government is going to pay from April up to $1,100 per fortnight, tax-free, for six months. Hey, being unemployed sounds pretty good. Now, let me grab my coffee. I just want that to sink in. Mm -hmm. $1,100 tax-free every fortnight for six months. That's not a bad whack of money. That's a lot of money, okay? So, you know, part of me and, and one of my mates are saying, hey, you should come back to Australia and just, you know, quit your job. I'm like, yeah, not not too keen on that yet. I'm feeling a lot more positive. I've got a positive vibe. I've never been on the dole. I've never taken social welfare. Um, and I, I don't want to if I can help it. I would only do that if it, the situation was just so bad that I was forced to do that, to you know, forced to be lined lined up in these lines and say I'm I'm unemployed. And I feel for those people that have lost their job, and I'm sure there's many, but I'm also sure there's lots of people that are just saying, hey, why not just quit my job and get a free, you know, eleven hundred dollars a fortnight. So I do not think, you know, that we've seen the bottom. I think. This is a dead cap bounce, okay? I think there's a lot of people that are going to be unemployed. I think a lot of people are also going to do what's called repayment holidays. So this is the the new buzzword. Put my uh, coffee down, sorry. The new buzzword in Australia is repayment holiday. So I'm going to take a holiday from paying my mortgage. Da, 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 now, I don't believe it, okay? Now, the government's saying that they'll support this repayment holiday, um, that you know people can call their bank and ask for a repayment holiday. Well, newsflash, we've always been able to do that. So if you've hit what's called hardship, and you're in time of hardship whereby you know, you're out of work, you get sick, there's a serious problem, and you can prove it, you can actually go to your mortgage provider or lender and claim hardship for up to a period of six months. Now, what people don't realize is, yes, you can do that, and you will not pay your loan, your mortgage, on your house for six months. However, you will end up paying it. Okay, so let me repeat that. How does it work? So what actually happens is, you don't have to pay for six months, and maybe your loan is $300,000. But what happens is, after that six months, they'll add up the principal and the interest, or just the interest only, depending on the term of your loan and how it's set up, and then your loan could be, for example, 320 by the time you come back on that holiday. So after the six months, you're worse off. <laughs> so then you're still gonna have to pay this money at some stage. The only benefit is that you're allowed to do it. Don't know about that. The other thing too, in Australia, we have now uh, from this year what's called comprehensive reporting so comprehensive reporting backdates to like two years ago so how's that going to affect people with their mortgages that want to refinance that's yet to be seen now I'm not I'm not really believing this package this uh, repayment holiday thing because honestly what could happen is you go on a payment holiday then you're worse off six months down the track and then you go to refinance to a cheaper rate and possibly you can't why because the bank is going to say oh sir you've been in hardship that's naughty 
we can't refinance your loan. So if you're looking to refinance, purchase a new property, something like that, maybe a not such a good idea. So for me, mm, I don't think it's the best idea. For me, you know, if you can pay it, pay it. If you're out of your job, definitely go get a repayment holiday. You need it. You're out of a job and you don't want to lose your home. Okay, it's important. Can totally understand for those who are desperately in need. Okay, so the other thing too is the share market. Talking about the share market rallying today, I don't think we've seen the bot bottom yet. I think you know we've hit a bit of resistance, but I think what it's, what's going to happen is we've gone like this. It's like a wave and then a wave down. That's what I think will, what will happen with the uh, share market in Australia. So, what I've done, yep, I opened up a trading account, right? So I never really traded uh, shares in the last 10 years. I did when I was younger, but it's been quite some time since I've done so. And I've been looking and there are some opportunities on Australian companies that have literally halved their share price. Their share price was $5, it's now $2.50. So that's quite a good opportunity. Is it the bottom? Who knows? Ultimately, what someone was telling me based on the Great Depression, in the Great Depression, the share market came back like 90%. Okay, so that we could have a, a lot more bloodshed in the market. We'll just have to wait and see what happens here. It's crazy what's going on. Let, let's wait and see. Um, I'm, I'm sitting back. I'm setting up a trading account. I'm going to put a few thousand dollars in it, pick up a few shares, maybe try and sell them, make some money if I can. But look, it is a gamble. Uh, like anything, you know, any investment, it is risky, okay? You're risking your capital. Your capital is at risk. <laughs> wow, I'm in a bit of a mood. Let me grab my coffee again. Right. Mm. So it's exciting times, scary times, challenging times, but I'm just trying to remain positive and focus on the good thing. And I think I hit a threshold and I've got past that threshold now and I'm back to being, you know, positive Pete again. Okay, so um, definitely want to get into the shares. Hopefully I can make a few, few thousand dollars out of that while I'm at home doing pretty much nothing. Now back to the Philippines, talking about the Philippines. I've been trying to do some walking uh, here in the Philippines. Obviously I can't even walk now like I told you. You know, I can't even walk the dog anymore. I can't even walk the dog down, you know, 200 meters from my house. Uh, they have also issued uh, quarantine passes. So, you know, the police, uh, the local police came around and said, here's your quarantine pass. So only one person per household can go out at a certain time to do things like buy groceries, buy medicine and this sort of thing. So I got my pass. I had to wait a few days. Uh, we have already stocked up. And what I've said to Aaron is, look, let's just stay in. OK, stay home. Stay home. Obviously, you know, this coronavirus is spreading. Just look at the statistics. And what I keep saying to people is, mm, ah, that coffee's good. What I keep saying to people is have a look online on YouTube and look for coronavirus data streams, live information about the stats. And what I'm saying is, you know, the actual amount of of confirmed infected is increasing like this it's stepping up okay every single day now China had this spike up and it plateaued but other countries like Italy just keep going up and now the big one is the United States so I do not think this is over just yet everyone so stay safe be careful look for those opportunities but I really think hold off right be prepared have your trading account ready you know do whatever you need to get to get you know some liquid cash ready if there's an opportunity whether it's in you know shares or um you know it could be property or you know you're eyeing a block of land whatever that might be just hold off okay because i think it's going to get a whole lot more worse before it gets better that's what i'm thinking okay and that's just purely based on you know, looking at those live streams and the data, the figures, the raw figures as to what's happening in the world. The big positive out of this is China. China has improved. I even saw something on the internet saying that Wuhan is back to normal. Really? Mm. It, it's surprising. I mean, 
you know, it wasn't so long ago, just a few weeks ago, we're talking about total lockdown in Wuhan. Um, the figures were like 80,000 infected in, in China. And, you know, the epicenter of that was Wuhan. But now Wuhan is back open for business. Or is it? Who knows what's really happening in China? Because at the end of the day, what I also heard is they're kicking out the media. They're kicking out journalists. Who really knows? I mean, we've been told the truth. Or is this just all smoke screen and mirrors? So yeah, you might be a little bit annoyed at the moment. It's about six o'clock at night and my neighbor's still banging out, um, you know, fixing up his house. He's doing some renovations next door. So hopefully that doesn't affect the sound too much. Uh, sorry for that. My apologies. Mm. So yeah, definitely feeling a lot better. Got on the walker. The only thing about the walker is, and the walker's great, but it, it's me, my heel. Uh, just in in my heel, I've been having this sharp pain, and um, you know I really want it to go away. I would like a massage or something. Um, my missus just isn't quite strong enough to to help with it, but um, I can't get a you know a little massage girl to come out and massage my feet. I'd love that at the moment. Nice sports massage, like a a Swedish massage, smash on that uh, that heel, so I can get out and walking. I've been trying to walk like at least three or four times a week and I have been doing that um, now on the walker because I can't get out obviously. So yeah, things are good, uh, things are looking up, I'm definitely a lot more positive, st staying strong for the family and I'm looking for those opportunities in the marketplace. So stay tuned, thanks for watching and double thumbs up, cheers. Please do like, share and subscribe, cheers, bye bye. <laughs>